वेलकम टू द टूडेज माइंड मैप एपिसोड आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इन इंडिया अंडर द एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व टाइप्स ऑफ जोन विद इन बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व प्रोमिनेंट बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इन इंडिया रोल ऑफ बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इन बायोडाइवर्सिटी कंजर्वेशन कंजर्वेशन एंड सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट एंड चैलेंजेस एंड फ्यूचर प्रोस्पेक्ट एंड लास्टली कंक्लूजन सो लेट स्टार्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व Biosphere reserves present a unique and crucial concept in environmental conservation. They are designated areas recognized globally by UNESCO as part of its Men and the Biosphere or MAB program. These reserves are carefully chosen for their exceptional ecological significance encompassing diverse ecosystems and species. Okay, now let's know the types of zones within biosphere reserves. First, core zone The core zone forms the nucleus of a biosphere reserve. It is an area where human interference is minimal and the focus is on preserving the natural ecosystem. Activities such as logging, mining and agriculture are restricted or prohibited to maintain the pristine environment. The second is buffer zone. Surrounding the core zone, the buffer zone serves as a transition area between strict conservation and human activity. Sustainable practices are encouraged here including research controlled tourism and community based conservation initiatives this zone aims to strike a balance between conservation and human needs and the third one is transition zone the transition zone represents the outermost region of a biosphere reserve where human settlements agriculture and other activities are prevalent It acts as a buffer between the protected areas and the outside world. Here, communities engage in sustainable livelihoods that align with environmental preservations. Okay, now let's know the prominent biosphere reserves in India. First one is Sundarbans Biosphere Reserve, West Bengal. The Sundarbans is the world's largest mangrove forest and this biosphere reserve is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna. including the iconic bengal tiger the region plays a vital role in protecting coastal areas from storms and tidal surges the second one is nilgiri biosphere reserve tamil nadu karnataka and kerala nestled in the western ghats the nilgiri biosphere reserve is a treasure trove of biodiversity it includes the nilgiri hills several national parks and wildlife sanctuaries this region is vital for the conservation of endangered species like the nilgiri tahar The third one is Gulf of Mannar Biosphere Reserve Tamil Nadu situated in the Gulf of Mannar between India and Sri Lanka this reserve is known for its marine biodiversity coral reefs sea grass beds and diverse marine life make it a unique habitat worth protecting fourth one is Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve Uttarakhand named after the Nanda Devi peak this reserve is a UNESCO World Heritage site It is home to several endemic species and rare Himalayan flora. The core area includes the Nanda Devi National Park which is trekking paradise and Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve Andaman and Nicobar Islands covering a significant part of the Great Nicobar Island. This reserve is known for its rich biodiversity including unique species found only on the islands. It highlights the ecological importance of island ecosystems. Okay let's have a look on the role of biosphere reserves in biodiversity conservation. Biosphere reserves are not merely protected areas. They serve as living laboratories for scientific research and play a pivotal role in biodiversity conservation. They serve the following functions: biodiversity hotspots. These reserves often encompass areas considered biodiversity hotspots, hosting a wide variety of species. many of which are rare or endangered species conservation they are crucial for the conservation of endangered species acting as refuges where populations can thrive without excessive human interference the next one is habitat protection by safeguarding diverse ecosystems biosphere reserves help protect habitats crucial for the survival of numerous species and ecosystem services Many biosphere reserves provide essential ecosystem services such as clean water, pollination and climate regulation benefiting both nature and people. Okay now let's know the conservation and sustainable development. 
Biosphere reserves are unique in their approach to balancing conservation with sustainable development. They aim to integrate human activities with nature conservation through research. Scientists conduct vital research within biosphere reserves to understand ecosystems better and develop sustainable practices. Education Environmental education programs raise awareness about the importance of biodiversity conservation among local communities and visitors. Community involvement Local communities are engaged in sustainable livelihoods that align the conservation goals, reducing pressure on natural resources. And tourism Controlled and responsible tourism generates revenue for conservation efforts while ensuring minimal environmental impact. Now let's have a look on the challenges and future prospects. While biosphere reserves are critical for conservation, they face several challenges like habitat degradation. Human activities including logging, mining and agriculture still encroach upon some core and buffer zones causing habitat degradation. Poaching Illegal poaching and wildlife trafficking continue to threaten many species within these reserves. Climate change Rising temperatures and altered rainfall patterns pose a significant threat to the delicate ecosystems within biosphere reserves. And community participation. Involving local communities in conservation and ensuring they benefit from these areas is an ongoing challenge. Let's know the future of biosphere reserves lies in enhanced conservation efforts. Implementing stricter regulations and surveillance to protect core areas and prevent habitat destruction. Community engagement. Fostering stronger partnerships with local communities and ensuring they actively participate in conservation efforts. And climate resilience. Developing strategies to adapt to the impacts of climate change such as shifting habitats and altered migration patterns. Let's have a look on the conclusion. Biosphere reserves in India serve as critical pillars of biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. They are testaments to the harmonious coexistence of humans and the environment. Protecting and nurturing these reserves is not just a responsibility, but an opportunity to secure a better future for generations to come. Now it's time for the practice question. And the question for prelims is, which organization designates biosphere reserves under its Man and the Biosphere or MAB program? Options are A. UNICEF, B. UNESCO, C. IUCN or D. WWF. And the main practice question is, discuss the role of biosphere reserves in India in balancing biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. Highlight the challenges they face and propose measures for their continued effectiveness. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind.